Hey guys and welcome back. Today I want to show you an example how we change brakes on aircraft. We're going to be using this 777-300ER as an example and there's the brake assembly itself. Brake change is not that hard but it is very laborious and it takes a set of skilled individuals and good logistics and coordination. In this particular event we'll be changing the number 7 brake which is quite interesting because both sides of the gear has to be jacked up with all safety devices installed and proper circuit breakers pulled because we are following proper maintenance manual procedures, we get to work. First thing we have to do is remove the hubcap as well as the tire pressure monitoring system. The cap is a very important function of this because the tire and brake monitoring system is held within the hubcap itself. First things first, we remove the tire pressure sensor. Afterwards, we remove the V-band that holds the hubcap itself. Once that's exposed, now you get to see the main nut. Quick glance at the hubcap itself. The hubcap itself is also tied into the wheel speed sensors itself, which is right in the middle of it. You'll see it right there. I'm pointing out there is the retention nuts as well that keeps the main nut from turning. Those have to be removed as well, as you can see right here. Once these components are removed and the aircraft has been jacked up to a proper level, we are ready to brake torque on the main nut. And there's that wheel speed sensor I was telling you about. We got our torque wrench ready and the massive socket for it. We'll brake the torque and remove the wheel. You'll notice a thread protector installed. As we remove the wheel, we don't want any of the threads for the main nut to be damaged. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brake assembly. This is what most aircraft brakes look like. That pin right there is the wear indicator. Right at the bottom, you will see an anti-rotation pin. This is a very important component, as well as a RII, required inspection item. And that right there is the brake temperature sensor, which I'm pulling off. It's a cannon plug, an electrical connector. Right above that, which you will see later, is also a hydraulic fitting that supplies the brake with hydraulic pressure. Once the anti-rotation device pin has been disassembled, as you can see right here, now we are free to pull the brake off. The brake itself is very heavy, even though it's made out of carbon material. We use specialized equipment just for this. Once the brake is removed, the sleeve is exposed. This is the main axle, and there's that anti-rotation pin I was telling you about. Everything gets inspected for any kind of damage. And we also take a look at the old brake right here. And that's the temperature sensor. We have to remove that from the old brake and put it on a new one. In the same manner and as using the same equipment, we will install a new brake, as you can see here, and reinstall the anti-rotation pin. Inspection will take a look at that and give us approval. Also installing the hydraulic line, which is right there. And as we look at the other side of the brake, we reinstalled the brake temperature sensor right there. After all inspection is done and everything is properly lubricated, now it's time for the wheel. Here's a good example of what it looks like behind the wheel itself. What you see here are the main tie bolts. Remember, the wheel itself is a split wheel, so it's held together by bolts all across. Pay attention closely, you'll actually see the thermal fuse plugs. There's three of them in there. And now it's time to reinstall the wheel itself. Also using a tire dolly, these wheels are very, very heavy, so we take great precaution with this. It takes a team of excellent mechanics such as these to make this happen. We reinstall the main nut and we are ready to retorque. One thing I forgot to mention that all hydraulics have been deactivated and depressurized before all these activities. Initial torque is about 500 foot pounds and then reloosened and then retightened to about 200 foot pounds. Next, we reinstall everything else, the retaining nuts as well as the hubcap and the V-band and the tire pressure sensor. End of the day, you got your final product. There you go. Wheel and brake installed. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we change brakes. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.